After a long day at school, we all feel tired, so we need to boost our energy. Food is here to provide us with energy. But from where does hand bring it? From where does energy come? To answer the question, we have to leave Earth for a moment and go straight up to the sun. The answer may surprise some of you, but yes, the energy which is responsible for your growth, movement, reproduction, and even cells repairing is from a star. The sun. As you can see, sunlight only deals with plants in a phenomenon called photosynthesis. Chlorophyll, a molecule which gives the green look, is also responsible for catching energy from sunlight in daytime. Plants combine water from the floor, energy from the sun, dioxide carbon from the air to produce an organic matter, glucose and oxygen. Only 1% of solar energy is used, and 99% is lost. The rest is easy, just draw other consumers. What you see here is a very simple food chain. Nature is more complicated. The second part of the food chain is an herbivore. This cow eats some leaves, takes the glucose already made, uses oxygen in respiration, and gets an amount of energy less than 10% of the plant's energy. The process is still inefficient. The waste of energy is due to the fact that a part of it is used to produce heat and in respiration. But there is also some parts of the plants that are pooped out and are still useful. I'm the last actor in this food chain, and by eating some cow's meat, I only benefit from less than 10% of this cow's energy, going through the same phase of respiration. This time, the wasted energy is in the bones and other organs that I've thrown away and excrements. And to summarize the concept of energy flow, we can represent our food chain as a pyramid of energy. It indicates the amount of energy in each level and shows the loss between them. And as we go higher, we can see this decrease. Now you understand how energy is never destroyed. It is transferred from one consumer to another. And this is the story of my piece of hand. Enjoy your meals and every time think of their stories from the sun to you.